Approximately three decades ago, we didn't possess any scientific evidence of a planet beyond our solar system. Nowadays, thanks to technological advancements and dedicated scientific research, we've identified more than 5,300 exoplanets, those intriguing alien worlds awaiting exploration. Initially, these discoveries predominantly featured massive gas giants. However, with our expanding capabilities, we've delved into the realm of smaller, Earth-like exoplanets. Scientists have successfully pinpointed over 50 exoplanets sharing similar masses with Earth, along with exceeding 800 worlds with a radius less than half that of our home planet. The catch? Not many of these planets are known to orbit within the habitable zone of their parent stars, the sweet spot where conditions are just perfect for sustaining life. But that's undergoing a transformation. In our ongoing quest for habitable planets, we're unearthing entire planetary systems harboring more than one potentially habitable world. And within our cosmic neighborhood, there's already confirmation of at least one such system. LOGO, our Milky Way galaxy hosts numerous compact systems revolving around stars akin to our Sun. However, planets in close proximity to these stars often experience extreme heat, rendering them unsuitable for supporting life. Conversely, when it comes to colder, fainter stars, the habitable zone is considerably closer. Enter Gliese 667, GJ 667, a triple star system situated in the Scorpius constellation, merely about 23 light years away from Earth. As we delve into the cosmic wonders, the possibilities of discovering habitable planets become increasingly tantalizing. This system boasts the inaugural instance of a low-mass star hosting multiple potentially habitable rocky planets within its Goldilocks zone. Similar to Alpha Centauri, the system is a trinary one. GJ667A, the most substantial star in the lineup, is a K-type main-sequence star, characterized by an orange-red hue. It holds 73% of the mass, 76% of the radius, and exhibits a visual luminosity only approximately 12% that of our Sun positioned at an average distance of 12.5 astronomical units, AU, is its companion, GJ667b, another K-type orange-red dwarf with about 69% of the Sun's mass and radiating a mere 5% of our star's visual luminosity. As in the case of Alpha Centauri, the third star steals the spotlight. Enter Gliese 667c, an M-type red dwarf boasting a mass and radius merely a third of the Sun's, mass, 33% X Sun, radius, 34% X Sun. Despite its faint luminosity, 1.4% X Sun, and relatively cold surface temperature of 3,775 Kelvin, compared to the Sun's 5,772 Kelvin, GJ667C hosts a surprisingly diverse planetary system. Initially believed to harbor only three exoplanets, additional scrutiny of existing data and further observations suggest the possibility of six planets in the system, with three or even four potentially habitable super-Earths. Now, what exactly qualifies as a super-Earth? This term designates a planet larger than Earth, but not as expansive as gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. Super-Earths can be composed of rock, ice, or a combination of both, potentially possessing atmospheres conducive to diverse forms of life. The nearest planet to the star, Gliese 667 CB, sizzles at a scorching 200 degrees Celsius 392 degrees Fahrenheit. As the most massive in the system, approximately 5.5 times the mass of Earth, this exoplanet likely sports a thick atmosphere and completes an orbit around its host star in just seven days. However, the real gems of the Gliese 667 system are its three potentially habitable planets, situated farther from their host star, with masses ranging from one to five times that of Earth, making them prime candidates for habitability. Gliese 667 cc, the second closest planet, orbits within the inner edge of the star's habitable zone. 
with a mass roughly 3.8 times that of Earth and a radius 1.8 times that of our home planet, its year lasts a mere 28 Earth days. Sporting an Earth Similarity Index of 0.85, it is aptly dubbed the Holy Grail of extrasolar planets. Due to the red dwarf GJ667C's low energy output, the habitable zone is remarkably close to the star, spanning from 11 cents to 23 cents, entirely within the orbit of Mercury. For comparison, Earth resides at approximately 1 AU from the Sun. Our planet's circled star see at that proximity, it would become an icy world. GJ667 CC, however, orbits its parent star at a mere 0.12 AU, completing its journey around the red dwarf every 28 days. The proximity suggests likely tidal locking, with one side experiencing perpetual day and the other eternal night, inducing substantial temperature disparities that likely influence the global climate on the exoplanet. Gleaming about 10% less light than Earth does from the Sun, Gliese 667 cc compensates with the majority of its received light being infrared. This unique characteristic enables the planet to obtain a comparable amount of energy as Earth does from the Sun, potentially fostering conditions conducive to water retention and a climate akin to our own. The mystery lies in the uncertainty regarding the presence and thickness of its atmosphere, making it impossible to predict the exact surface temperature on Gliese 667 cc. If equipped with an Earth-like atmosphere, Heat distribution could yield a pleasant 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, on the night side, offering an experience distinct from our accustomed terrestrial life. However, living on Gliese 667 cc presents other challenges. The planet receives a subdued reddish light from its star. Meanwhile, the other two stars, Gliese 667 a and b, dwell at a vast distance of about 230 AU, farther than the span between Pluto and the Sun, beyond the planetary system. Yet, these distant suns would manifest as a pair of luminous stars visible during the day, gleaming as brightly as a full moon at night. In contrast, our Sun would appear as a distant point of light. Unfortunately, the nearby red dwarf is notorious for emitting flares and intense bursts of radiation, potentially posing a threat to any potential life on Gliese 667 cc due to its proximity to the flaring host star. Moreover, the red dwarf's robust magnetism may generate star spots, reducing the star's energy output by up to 40% for extended periods. Coupled with the absence of ultraviolet light emissions, this could further complicate the prospect of life as we understand it. Living on Gliese 667 cc would not only deviate from our earthly norms due to these factors but also because of its substantial mass. The heightened mass of the exoplanet results in a gravitational acceleration on its surface that is up to 60% greater than what we experience on Earth. Consequently, a person weighing 75 kilograms, 165 pounds, on Earth would weigh a hefty 120 kilograms, 265 pounds, on Gliese 667 cc. Additionally, a planet with greater mass can host a more substantial atmosphere, leading to higher atmospheric pressure at the surface. If equipped with an atmosphere similar to Earth's, the pressure would only be a few times higher, but a Venus-like atmosphere could bring pressure several hundred times greater, comparable to the depths of Earth's oceans. Living on Gliese 667 cc would indeed be a departure from our accustomed terrestrial conditions. Despite residing in a habitable zone, Gliese 667 cc may not mirror Earth's conditions. Life forms on this exoplanet might need to adapt to varying in dim light, potential high atmospheric pressure, and frequent solar flares. However, this doesn't rule out the possibility of life taking root on such a world, as Earth itself exhibits remarkable adaptability. The other two potentially habitable planets, Gliese 667 CE, mass, 2.7 Earths, radius, 1.45 X Earth, and Gliese 667 CF, mass, 2.7 Earths, radius, 
1.45x Earth, are nearly identical. Positioned farther from their parent star, they receive less energy, possibly making them too cold to support familiar life. Nevertheless, a thick atmosphere would be advantageous for potential life on these planets, trapping heat and sustaining favorable temperatures. Discovering three habitable zone worlds within the same planetary system is exceptionally rare, let alone four, which is nearly inconceivable. According to a study, five planets in the Gliese 667c system could receive solar radiation ranging from 20 to 200 percent of Earth's current exposure to the Sun, making them potential habitability candidates. However, several factors come into play. Scientists have identified two boundaries for the habitable zone around Gliese 667c concerning a planet with mass equal to Earth. The inner boundary spans 0.095 to 0. 126 astronomical units from the star, while the outer boundary extends from 0.241 to 0.251 AU. Planets within these distances may boast conditions conducive to liquid water on their surfaces. The proximity of a planet to its star plays a crucial role. If too close, the heat may cause water to turn into vapor and escape, rendering the planet uninhabitable. Conversely, if too distant, as with the outermost Gliese 667g, the planet risks being enveloped in ice. While gases like CO2 can provide warmth, excessive CO2 can cool the planet by reflecting light away, highlighting the delicate balance required for habitability. In 2013, astronomers suggested Gliese 667c harbors a minimum of six planets, with a possible seventh, GJ667CH. While GJ667CH's existence is contentious, Planets F and E are confirmed to orbit within the habitable zone, and the position of planet D remains uncertain. This implies Gliese 667 CC, CF, SU, and potentially CD are all potential candidates for habitable worlds. The discovery of densely packed planetary systems around M dwarf stars like Gliese 667 C hints at the prevalence of numerous planetary systems with multiple potentially habitable planets. Given that M dwarfs make up over 70% of stars in our cosmic neighborhood, the likelihood of finding promising planetary systems in our galaxy exceeds previous estimates. Instead of scouring multiple stars for a single habitable planet, Scientists can now focus on one star, increasing the chances of finding multiple Earth 2.0 candidates. As new and advanced telescopes continue to emerge, our ability to unravel the universe's mysteries grows exponentially. What star system would you like to learn about next? Share your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned for the latest cosmic discoveries, and be sure to click the super thank you button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.